This is for 16,000. Which of these square numbers also happens to be the sum of two smaller square numbers? 16, 25, 36, 49. It's hard to do math when you're sitting up here. <laughs> Ryan, take your time, okay? You have a lot of time. time. I'm trying to think here. You know, it's under a lot of pressure right now. Um, I'm going to ask the audience. No problem. Audience, Ryan really needs your help here. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 50% believe it is 16, 30% say 25, and 19 for 36, and just 1% for 49. Let's check with the AOL and messenger crowd. 45% of them say 16, 23 for 36, 22 for 25, just 10% for 49. So they both agree, but the number isn't great. Um, and I just want to remind you, Ryan, that you do have other lifelines if you need them, because should you miss it, you would drop down to 1,000. I don't know where your head was at before you asked the audience. So. <laughs> Are you leaning toward anything? Uh, or can you figure it out based on what you're seeing here? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with the audience on this, and I'm gonna say, A. Uh, final answer. Oh, Ryan, the audience is not right. I'm sorry. It was B. It was 4 squared plus 3 squared is 16 plus 9 equals 25. I'm sorry. Ryan, sit, you sit right there. At least you got $1,000. That's something towards the car. Congratulations on that. And you folks, stay with us. We'll be right back with College Week right after this.